Hello, hello. This is Adrian Capricorn Tigris of Astrology, a look And I, you know, it's so funny. I never know exactly when uh, these are going to start. <laughs> I'm always like a second or two behind. And uh, I'm just wondering, like, hey, where's my music? Everything's just slowed down. But uh, this is Adrian Capricorn Tigris of Astrology, a look inside. And I'm actually coming to you with a special October 2021 reading for the sign of Leo. Leos! Hello, wonderful Leos. Let's see what the the stars, well, the cards, the cards want to tell Leo. I think the stars are actually very positive for Leo right now because uh, Leo is uh, sextile Libra. And uh, we're in Libra season. And so I would think that textile is very positive. It probably flows very well and is not, uh, you know, anything that you would find uh, intrusive, I don't think. And so that's that's very good. And um, so, yeah, this is definitely good for Le uh, uh, Leo when it's in Libra season. In fact, I think you might have luck with, uh, like, friends. And uh, actually, um, I take that back. It would probably end up in your house of communication. So maybe, like, talking with people, communicating with others, uh, maybe uh, in your neighborhood. Things might be uh, perking up a little bit in your neighborhood, that, that type of thing. So you might be experiencing something like that okay so let's see what the cards want to share with leo i've shuffled and shuffled and shuffled so let's see what divine spirit wants to share with leo i don't know where my music is i am <laughs> i've been sitting here waiting for it to do something and it is not doing it whatever it is it's oh there's something but I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about it. <laughs> I, I'm, 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 I'm going to uh, pass on that one, get another one, because I, I wasn't quite feeling whatever that was. Okay, so I'm getting these cards together for you, Leo. Uh, let's see what else. There's one sticking out. Okay, got a special message here for Leos. Okay. We've got three there. Yep, we do. So I just need three more. Let's make that two more. I'm not feeling that either. I don't know why. Isn't that funny? Sometimes I, I get good song. Oh, I did not expect that to come out. Oh, wow, Leo. What have you been through, Leo's? Leo. What has our little Leo friends been up to? Okay, I, I pulled out just I because I, I was upset about the card I saw. And I thought, is there another message here? And um, it's just pulling me out more confusing messages. So this is what I found, Leo. This is how this is going to go down for Leo, okay, in October. Because this is what I found. So the first card I got, Leo, is the four of coins. Four coins. It's telling me, hold on to what you got, Leo. If you got it, hold on to it. If it's money, hold on to it. If it's a relationship, hold on to it. If it's a house, hold on to it. If it's a car, hold on to it. Hold on to what you got. Because here's the ten of swords. And I think maybe you might feel like you got stabbed in the back. Maybe you feel like you need to let something go because it didn't work out the way you want. Or you feel like someone betrayed you or they, they let you down or something of that nature. You might be experiencing something like that. Um, and so you might be experiencing that. Um, also, the Ten of Swords sometimes can indicate that your health isn't that great. So some Leos might be experiencing that too. Next, I see the Page of Cups. And so I feel like you might be getting in some emotional communication. Maybe in a text, maybe an email, maybe you're getting telephone calls. I don't know if this is someone that's like uh, calling and 
uh, either irritating you or maybe calling and, you know, raising your emotional romantic because page of cups is sometimes it's it's a little bit romantic so that could be, that could be right that type of communication maybe someone dropping some messages into your dm or texting you or something but whatever is going on here's the six of swords i feel like you're moving away from something i think you're moving away from something or someone who might have been that ten of swords that stabbed you in the back because like i said who likes being stabbed in the back absolutely no one absolutely no one so you may be moving away from that if not physically then at least emotionally and here's the moon the next card yeah there might be some lies deception and deceit and you might be emotionally pulling away because of that i mean you know we can only take so much and if you feel that you've been lied to deceived uh or something of that nature then i could see where you might pull away altogether um, from something. Uh, just make sure you got all the facts because the moon also can indicate where we can deceive ourselves. So you might not have all the facts or you might not be able to see things clearly. Whatever you do, remember to give the get. You got the six of coins here. And whenever I see the six of coins, it, that's exactly what it's telling you to do. It's saying the more you give, the more you get. The more you give out, the more it will come back to you. So if you're giving out love, you'll get back love. If you're giving out, um, you know, I don't want to say bile, but, you know, that negativity, like barking at people, arguing, snapping back. You give out that kind of energy, that kind of energy comes back too. And people start reflecting, you know, mirroring you. And sometimes that's one of the things that happens. It, we think, oh, that person is so nasty or that person's done this or that. But if you step back, you'll find that they, they're just mirroring you. So be careful of that. Whatever it is, be patient. You got the temperance card. You might be dealing with a Sagittarius is, is in the current position. So it may be that you are dealing with a Sag, which would be great for Leo. But I do sense that there's a need for, for patience. Um, you know... Take your time. We'll test the waters. Don't just jump right in. Make sure first. Here's an eight of coins. So maybe you're working on building your coins, building a new skill, a new way of doing things, a new way of making money, a new way of gaining success. Some Leos might even be in training. They might be going to courses. Here's the Hierophant. Yeah, you might be a student right now. You might even be a teacher right now. This could be that you're um, with the Hierophant dealing with a Taurus or some type of uh, traditional situation. Maybe I'm sensing maybe like a partnership or marriage or some learn long-term relationship might have ended or uh, been in jeopardy because of that ten of swords and now here's the three of swords this is definitely giving me vibes of infidelity in marriage or in the commitment like something happened in the commitment and now here's the king of cups um you know sometimes because i think that's uh let me just make sure it's four six yeah so these three cards now i mean literally your reading your main reading ended on the three of swords <laughs> okay so leo i don't know if that's you cheating if you're in a relationship or there's someone you're with and there is three people like a third this is like a third party or maybe you just feel like you got stabbed in the heart maybe it's that moving away is that you've got to let this go like maybe you got hurt before and you're still carrying that hurt in your heart and it's hard to start over that could be i mean there's the king of cups here it's above and beyond the reading but it's it's the emotions of that king of cups so if especially if you're um a male you could really be all up in your emotions about something uh leos can get emotional and uh, so that could be uh also here's the four swords i really sense that some leos are in their head this sword energy and it ends on the seven of swords by the way which is you know maybe there's lots of op options and choices that have to be made but I do sense that, you know, you're, you're in your head. Uh, so many swords. 
so much going on in that way. And so that might be affecting everything when it's that many swords. So, um, you know, that, that happens, but I do sense that you could be dealing with that issue. Like so many swords, so much, either communication could be arguing. It could just be that it's just been so mental and, um, you know, like I said, people snipping back at each other, that type of thing. It could just be that you're communicating, but I just sense there's emotion with the king and the page of cups. I just think there's a lot of emotion involved in this. I'm going to tell you what the two fours and the two sixes mean, because you had two fours and you had two sixes. And two fours is that you'll experience a higher level of seriousness and devotion in your, your relationship. Your romantic relationship will be joyous, although it will be fleeting. So, but enjoy the moment, enjoy it. Be happy with what you got. In business, you'll have a chance to do work that you find more fulfilling. So that's always nice too. And on top of that, you also had two sixes. So I'm gonna tell you what the two sixes are as well. And when you get two sixes in a reading, it is indicative that there is a special relationship. It's not an amazing relationship though. Not yet, but it could be if you guys work on it. Like, let me just say this. If you're in the midst of establishing a new relationship with someone, right? You're, you're really trying to build this new foundation, this new committed relationship or, you know, make it serious or whatever it is, or at least you found someone that, you know, you don't want to let go of. You want to stay in a relationship with that person. Well, you're third party. You can't have three people in a real relationship. I know they, 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 they got the, the sister wives and all that kind of stuff, but in reality, that mess don't work. Most women will turn on their heel and leave. And even in the sister wives, I think they, a couple of a wife or two leave because no one wants to put up with that. Okay. No one likes being cheated on. Uh, it's just, I know that it's, po it is uh, popular, more popular nowadays. Some people are into all kind of crazy multiple things in their relationship but there are still some people who deep down inside they just want a normal regular committed relationship and i think this is really what this reading might be about you had three major arcana you had the moon the temperance card and the hierophant now you're a leo you could be dealing with a, a sagittarius maybe I, I do sense that there could be some lies, deception, deceit, some something that's unclear here. Maybe that's why I got the Ten of Swords and the Three of Swords and all the other swords uh, in the reading. But I also see the Hierophant, which tells me that at the end of the day, I think this might be about establishing a more committed, more traditional type of relationship. I think until you can establish a more traditional type of relationship, whether it be marriage or just that you're in a committed relationship, you're always going to experience things like a third party, like three people in a relationship or cheating or things that make really mess with your self-esteem. So make sure you have your boundaries up that you don't, you know, if, if you want one on one relationships, a monogamous relationship, state that and don't go for stuff that you know isn't going to make you happy. At the bottom of the deck was the star. And I love that. That could be Aquarius. This is all about partnership because Aquarius is, is the opposite of Leo. So it's all about your partnerships, Leo. This whole relationship has been about your partnership. So if you're not in one, it might be that the, one might be trying to get to you, but you might be in your head so much with all the sword energy. You're not really seeing it. You're not really seeing everything clearly or the potential of it. So that's my take on this. I just want to say that, you know, do what you can before the 21st of October, because after that, then it goes into Scorpio and Scorpio forms a square with the sign of Leo and that could do yeah, squares is kind of uh, stressful and so you could uh you know i, I would want to avoid that stress 
if I were you, okay? So anyway, you guys, this has been Adrian Capricorn Tigress of astrologyelicinsight.com. And if you haven't already done so, be sure to take a moment to go over to astrologyelicinsight.com and subscribe on the website, astrologyelicinsight.com. You can also make a donation by scrolling down to the bottom of the page, click that donation button and said, send do, said donation. Okay. Also, you can follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash astrology, look inside and join the Facebook group at facebook.com slash groups slash astrology, look inside and be sure to follow us, follow me moi, on Instagram at instagram.com slash astrology, look inside and also be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and you can do that by going to youtube.com slash astrology, look inside. And uh, you can also find me on TikTok at uh, Astrology A Look Ins, I N S. Okay. And if you haven't done so, be sure you sign up for uh, Gregarious. All you have to do is just go over and subscribe. I, you know, make a comment because you have to sign up to make comments and stuff like that. So I'm going to make sure you, you sign up so you can participate. But it's gregarious.flicksters.com. That's gregarious.flicksters with a Z on the end. Dot com. That's F L I X S T E R Z as in zipper.com, gregarious.flicksters.com. And this has been Adrian. May you have a beautiful October. Much love, much light, many blessings to you, Leo. Astrology, a look inside. Presenting astrology and tarot readings for all.